Easter Bunny Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Happy Easter! So today I will be showing you how I painted these adorable little Easter bunnies with a blue fringe tip. I hope you like this design and don't forget to click subscribe so you can see all my future videos as well. Begin by painting your thumb and ring nails with one coat of white polish and your index, middle, and pinky nails with a blue fringe tip. On a makeup sponge I'm going to be painting a stripe of lavender polish and then a stripe of blue and I'm going to blend these together just a little bit on the sponge. That'll give me a better gradient on my nail. And then I'm going to sponge that onto my thumb and my ring nails and then add a second coat just to make sure that it's nice and opaque. To smooth the colors together I'm going to add a layer of shimmer polish and then clean around my nails with a cotton bud dipped in polish remover. To paint my little rabbit, I'm going to begin with some white paint and paint a circle basically straight in the middle of my nail. This is going to help keep the balance so that you have the same amount of space for ears and for a bow. So then I'm going to add his body below, but the body isn't really going to be seen because of the large bow. Um, don't forget to add his ears up above his head and fill in his body. So then I'm going to be adding a second coat of white paint over, I'm going to start at the ears. So just add that paint and then blend in some black for some shading and I'm going to do just on one side of my, of my ears and the face. I'm not going to worry about shading in the body because it's pretty much going to get covered up later. But I want the ears and his face to have just a little bit of shading and detail. So I'm going to blend some pink into the center of the ears. And then repeat the whole process for his head. So start with a layer of white paint while it's still wet. Blend in some black. And it doesn't take very much black at all. Just a couple of bristles need to have color on them in order for it to be shaded in. Because black is such a powerful color. And then blend in some pink on his cheeks. And now I'm going to be painting my bow. So with lavender paint, I'm going to start and I'm going to paint each side of the bow right around his neck. It sounded kind of mean actually, but it's not mean. <laughs> and then add the center knot. So add a second layer of paint over one side of your bow and then add a highlight. Do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just blending in some white to show how the bow is formed. And then once you've got both sides, have that nice highlight on them, cover the middle knot and highlight that. So now this is where I'm going to be outlining everything, which is such a tedious process, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. The key that I always find is that you have to have a very small amount of black paint on your brush. If you have too much paint, it's going to, you're going to end up with really thick, uncontrolled lines. So if you want thicker lines, then dip your brush in and get a little bit more paint on it. If you want thin lines, get just a tiny amount of paint. So then I'm going to be adding his nose and his smile. And then his eyes. So that's what I'm doing for his face. And I will fill in his nose with some pink paint later on. And then I'm going to highlight, I mean outline his bow and add a couple little details to it. and fill in his nose with pink. On my index, middle, and pinky nails, I'm going to be adding a fading line of dots, starting in the middle and working towards the outside of my smile line. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!